Hi friends, good evening once again. Welcome back to my channel Mukambika Nursing. Friends, here we are discussing questions for ESIC Nursing Officer Exam Preparation. Exam is on 7th July. Also, these questions will be helpful for your other nursing officer exam preparation. Here we are discussing questions from previous year question papers. Also important questions. First question, pulse polio immunization was started in the year. Options, option A, 1990, option B, 1992, option C, 1995, option D, 1998. Question, when was pulse polio immunization started? And the correct answer is in 1995, option C is the correct answer. And the next question, antimicrobial dressing is composed of which of the following metal? Option, option A, copper, option B, zinc, option C, sodium, option D, silver. Question, which one of the following material is present in antimicrobial dressing? Antimicrobial dressing consists of silver, option D is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Which of the following was first widely used antiseptic and disinfectant? Options. Option A. Chloride. Option B. Isopropanol. Option C. Carbolic acid. Option D. Ethylene. Our question. Among the following, which one was first widely used antiseptic and disinfectant? It is carbolic acid. Option C is the correct answer. Carbolic acid or phenol. It is also known as phenol which was used first antiseptic and disinfectant to kill the germs. It was introduced by Joseph Lister. And the next question. Purpose of giving carminative enema is. Options. Option A. Lubricate rectum and colon. Option B. Control bleeding. Option C. Provide relief from gaseous distension. Option C. Soften the fecal matter. Our question, what is the purpose of giving carminative enema? Carminative enema is also known as antispasmodic enema, which is given to relieve gaseous distension of the abdomen. Okay, here answer is option C, provide relief from gaseous distension. It is carminative enema is also known as antispasmodic enema. And option C, control bleeding. To control or to check bleeding or to identify the inflammation, we are giving astringent enema. And last option, option C, D, soften the fecal matter. For that, oil enema is giving. Purpose of oil enema is to soften the fecal matter. Move on to the next question. The largest synovial joint in the body is options. Option A, knee joint. Option B, wrist joint. Option C, ankle joint. Option D, shoulder joint. Which is the largest synovial joint in the body? It is knee joint. Option A is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Smallpox was officially declared as eradicated by the WHO in options. Option A 1977, option B 1978, option C 1980, option D 1982. Our question is when was WHO declared that smallpox had been eradicated? The year is 1980. On 8th May 1980, the WHO declared smallpox had been eradicated. Another one important point, India was declared as smallpox free by the year April 1977. And last case of smallpox was occurred in India in the year May 17, 1975. Last case. Okay. World last case of smallpox in Somalia was reported in the year 26th October 1977. Move on to the next question. In a healthy individual, plasma osmolality range from options. Option A 270 to 280 milliosmol per kilogram of water. Option B 280 to 295 milliosmol per kilogram of water. Option C, 295 to 310 milliosmol per kilogram of water. Option D, 300 to 325 milliosmol per kilogram of water. 
Our question Plasma osmolality in a healthy individual is 285 milliosmol per kilogram of water. Option B is the correct answer. This is the normal plasma osmolality. Move on to the next question. Who is known as the father of scientific management? Options. Option A. Max Weber. Option B. Henry Foyle. Option C. Frederick Winslow Taylor. Option D. Elton Mayo. Our question. Father of scientific management is Option C. Frederick Winslow Taylor. Move on to the next question. Fully saturated 1 gram of hemoglobin contains options. Option A 0.39 ml of oxygen. Option B 1.39 ml of oxygen. Option C 2.39 ml of oxygen. Option D 3.39 ml of oxygen. Our question. Saturated 1 gram hemoglobin contain how much ml of oxygen? And the correct answer is 1.39 ml of oxygen. Option B is the correct answer. Fully saturated 1 gram hemoglobin contain 1.39 ml of oxygen. Move on to the next question. The normal newborn hemoglobin level is options. Option A 17 to 20 gram per deciliter. Option B 12 to 15 gram per deciliter. Option C 15 to 18 gram per deciliter. And option D 20 to 25 gram per deciliter. Question normal newborn hemoglobin level. Normal hemoglobin level in newborn is about 18 to 20 gram per deciliter. Here 17 to 20 is there. So that is the correct answer or 18 to 20. Blood volume of newborn soon after birth. After birth, immediately after birth, it is about 80 ml per kilogram of body weight. Okay, this is the normal blood volume immediately after birth. And normal RBC count of newborn is 6 to 8 million per cubic millimeter and normal WBC count of newborn is 10,000 to 17,000 per cubic millimeter and normal platelet count is 3,50,000 per cubic millimeter. Move on to the next question. The appropriate needle size for insulin injection is options. Option A 18 gauge to 11 by 2 inch length. Option B 22 gauge 1 inch long. Option C 22 gauge 11 by 2 inch long. Option D 25 gauge 5 by 8 inch long. Needle size for insulin injection is 25 gauge 5 by 8 inch length. Insulin injection is given subcutaneously that is 1 ml syringe it contains 40 or 80 units and the needle size is 25 gauge 1 by 2 to 5 by 8 inch here 5 by 8 is there 25 gauge 1 by 2 to 5 by 8 inch length. Move on to the next question. The surgical removal of entire eye along with the part of optic nerve is known as options. Option A. Keratotomy. Option B. Enucleation. Option C. Vidriorectinal surgery. Option D. None of this. Our question. Our question. A removal of entire eye along with part of optic nerve is known as Enucleation. Option B is the correct answer. Friends, today we discussed previous year question papers questions. I could have included very less questions. In the next coming video, I will increase the number of questions. Surely these questions and important points will helpful for your exam preparation. If it is useful for your studies, please share my videos to your friend circle.